Hi there, and welcome to my tutorial on how to use ground control points in WebODM. If you are a drone mapper or a surveyor, you know that accuracy is the key for producing maps. So by using GCPs, you can improve the accuracy and precision of your drone mapping projects, resulting in more reliable data and better insight. In this tutorial, I will show you how to set up and use ground control points in WebODM. So first, let me introduce myself. My name is Stefan Niculescu, and I'm a land surveyor with over 18 years of experience working on projects all around the world. I am excited uh, to share my knowledge and expertise with you in this tutorial and show you how to start doing accurate drone maps. So let's get started. Before you open WebODM, I recommend that you go through your uh, drone photos and check for any photo that contains a ground control point like this one for example and you copy all of them in a separate folder like you see me doing here and regarding your uh, GPS or total station file with the coordinate I recommend that the coordinates should be in WGS84 and it should contain this headline. After you prepare your files, we should go to WebODM, go to GCP interface and as you see on the direction, we should have at least five targets in three or more photos. So first step is upload the images. So we click on images, open, select all. We upload it. You can see them, all of them here. Next step is to upload our control point file, the one from the GPS or total station in WGS84. We go open, you can see right here with the code for WGS84 and load and then you can see on the map with different numbers so from now on we just click on the photo we delete this point because that's an extra point and we zoom in to the target we select the best we can the center of it and we press plus and we just click in the middle and then we're gonna need to choose the equivalent on the on the map which is gcp number four and it becomes green now it's locked and we go to the next one next one we delete this point extra point that point is just in case you want to add an extra point on the map and we go to the we zoom into the target press plus select the center of the target and then we select the equivalent on the map it becomes green we come to the next one next one is gonna have two targets as you see here this one so we just zoom on on the first one we select the center we click on the equivalent becomes green and then we're gonna go to the second one we just zoom the best we can we click on the plus and then again on the center and that's GCP number five. And you see here, we have two green dots. 
and we're gonna repeat the process for the rest of them After we finish putting the correct GCP in every photo, as you see here, we need to export the file. So we click export file and as you see the software already converted the WGS84 uh, coordinate uh, system long longitude and latitude to UTM northern and eastern so what we have here basically this file tells the software that at the intersection of these pixels on this photo we have a ground control point number four with these coordinates in real life and so on so that's why it's very important this process so we're just gonna save the file in the same folder save we close this window and now we can go to the dashboard we create a project i'm going to name it test create project and we're going to select images and gcps we're going to select all the drone images inclusive the one with gcps all the so we're gonna select all of them and we're gonna select the new gcp file with the one with the instructions and we just press review and that's it start processing it's uploading all the photos and that's all now we just wait that's it for our tutorial on how to use ground control points in WebODM by now you should have a good understanding of what GCPs are why they are important for door mapping and how to use them in WebODM to produce more accurate and precise maps and models if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more drone mapping tutorials. Thank you for watching.